Hello everybody, welcome to that in Kari Channel. I'm Adi. And I'm Kari. And today we're gonna bring you another food video and it's gonna be taking you guys to a one-star restaurant. So we seen there was uh, more or less shitty reviews on it and here are some examples. So for this specific restaurant, Tierra Caliente, the one that kind of stood out to me honestly Look at overall rating, you can already see here. I don't know how many reviews. Uh, I don't know how to see that. But anyways, so their major one, and it goes all the way, the whole bar is colored, number one. So that even in itself is like, that's bad. There's someone that gave it a four star, but this was seven years ago. Um, from what I know of, there is no recent reviews, right? From seven years yeah, ago or a year ago? Yeah, I it was uh, the last review was like a year ago. Oh, I remind, a year ago, but right now I'm seeing seven years. Uh, oh yeah, there's a year, I found it. And a year ago, they gave it a one star. And I'm gonna actually read this one because it's, it's crazy because I know this is not the only restaurant that does it. Uh, it says, if you're not a seafood person, don't order anything that can be cooked in the same batch as the seafood. I ordered a chicken quesadilla and it was so disgusting. It had a nasty taste, almost like fish, and I hate seafood. So it was not a very appetizing dish. I tried taking the chicken out, but it still had that nasty taste. The only thing that was okay for me to eat was the rice, beans, and salad. Even then, it was not that amazing. I tried to mask the taste with the rice and the beans too, and that did not help. Customer service was good though. This is the first and last time I will be eating there. So that's one. What, what, uh. Go back 2011 years, like back all the way down. Someone actually, one start here said, it all in caps, stay away from this place. All right. Um. All right, this one is a little, this is this is kind of kind of goes in debt a little, it's too much. Uh, where I'll be like, oh no, turn away. All right, so it says, stay away from this place. I got food poisoning after eating here since I walked in there. Was a weird smell, but I thought it was just an old building. Chips and salsa were okay. I ordered two tostadas de ceviche, which is shrimp. The person I was with ordered enchiladas. The order came first. Mine took pretty long. I thought maybe it was a good thing that they were making my order fresh, but I was wrong. When I finally got it, it smelled disgusting like shrimp was rottening the vegetables had no color like they've been refrigerated for days didn't touch our food the chips and salsa got me and my friends sick now that is like actually ooh, that that it's scares scary. me yeah that well, one really scares me because seafood and i i get sick fast yeah. um here i don't know uh we're gonna read one more review and after that we're gonna go into this restaurant okay so this one was 11 years ago it says, this place is okay. That is until I went into the restroom and seen a bunch of cockroaches. Imagine what there is inside the kitchen area. Gross. I don't even want to imagine. So. Going into this place and ordering what? Their most popular item? Yeah, I'm going to ask for the most popular item. On the menu. And let's see. Alright, let's go guys. Real quick, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. We finally hit our 500 sub milestone and for that we will be giving away $100 to a subscriber. Please follow the instructions in the link below in the description or pinned comment. Click it and you need to be a subscriber. If you're not, it's not too late. Hit the subscribe button and you could be in this giveaway. Please make sure to leave your email because that's how we will contact you to receive your cash app name. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. Si a los Cuando manitos. vienen por primera vez, me gusta decirles eso, okay. porque trae poquito de todo. Okay. Trae como la carne, trae camarones, y trae pollo asado, o si te gusta la huilota en lugar de pollo, okay. Okay. Todo está sabroso, también mucho lleva los camarones empanizados, camarones a la diabla. Y tengo de este lado uh, más, hay mucha variedad. But now here we are, we're gonna dive into the food. All right, let's try their salad. Um, so it's just a tomato, some onions, and obviously lettuce. Don't know how I'm gonna eat it or what, but. The lime, the lemon is for the, the shrimp. All 
Alright, their cucumber's cool. Gotta look at this little thing that's going on. I know I'm just eating it separate, but... I like how you're just eating it by yourself. You don't need to share. I don't even use the fork, but my hands are clean. My hands are dirty. No, 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 no. Okay, one-star restaurant. <laughs> Now Man, at, least, at, least they're, at least they're fresh, so the lettuce and the stuff. What do you think about the beans? Look at how watery that is. That is hella watery, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, you know so, what it reminds me of? Like when your mom makes like three fried beans and then there's like not that many leftovers, so they throw a little bit of water just to make something what? out of it. My family never did that. Well, we were poor. <laughs> we had to stretch it. Alright, so I'm gonna try the beans right now. like I don't know it just feels like maybe it has been sitting for a while so yeah I think the beans have been sitting there for a little while here you try the beans or tell me what your thoughts are with the beans do you think they've been sitting there or no it has a weird thing when you crunch into the beans huh or is it, I don't or get that I, I think for me it is like it's for me they're too watery it's, uh, they don't have a bad taste. I mean, they're well. I feel like they're seasoned well. The, it's seasoned well, it's yeah, but water. it's watery and maybe they didn't have enough beans. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll put that. We'll just say that. I guess. All right. Next, I'm gonna try the rice. They have a. I want to try tortillas. The rice is good. Does it taste but like it's a fresh? little bit too dry. I think. Okay. Right. It's good, but it's, it's got like a very dry texture. I don't know. That's just my thing. It's like way too dry for me, for my mouth. But it's it is good. a little dry, but it's good. It's good. Yeah. All right. Um. Next, what do you want to try? The shrimp. Shrimp. Go ahead. Do the honors. Hey, I'm not I don't know. know the seafood. I can't do seafood with uh if it's. <laughs> you sound like you're about to choke right now. <laughs> you know when it tastes kind of rubbery? Oh, don't tell me it's old. No, like I think they're overcooked. So it's super overcooked? I don't know. That's my Oh, personal. yeah, because look at When you have shrimp like this, let me tell you something. It when you kind have of shrimp that shrivels up like this all the way to making almost like a U turn. A <laughs> U turn? Yeah, it's overcooked. Yeah, it's overcooked the shrimp. All right. I mean well, the the chile. The, don't get me wrong. The chile that they put on there is good. You get what I'm saying? The shrimp doesn't have no taste though. But the the base the chile does. The chili does. Didn't you taste that or no? Yeah. The shrimp doesn't really have like a good taste, like. Like it tastes like uh, the chili's over. Okay, so this is what I think. It's like what they did. They cooked it without any seasoning, and then just and the threw chicken. the chili on top. That's how that shrimp tastes like. All right, now go ahead. Now the thing about the chicken, I'm scared of trying it because um, my yeah, stomach is very stomach. weak. My sen my stomach is very sensitive. So do we have a knife to cut this to see if it's thoroughly cooked? Uh, no, huh? Uh, All right, open it so I cut it. Open it so I can cut it with my fingers. All right. Open it or hold it? Or I mean, my bad, hold it. I just don't want it to be like hella light. No, it looks good. All right, so I guess I'll just try it first. It's good. Just like too dry. Like they overcooked that one. So I think that one's kind of overcooked too. So it's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. Ch chicken's supposed to be juicy and mm, A1. 
I shouldn't be having to chew my food, my chicken that much. But yeah. All right. Now, lastly, um, we're gonna um, try this. What is this? The what is this? That's supposed to be like a sala. So this is the sala we got, right? <laughs> Bring it up to the. This is the sala we got. This is like dinky. No, the fucking. Dinky. And then the chicken. This is what we got for chicken. Kind of dinky. And then we got like about six shrimp, watery beans, dry rice for $25. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, but I thought we would get more pieces for me, but at least another little piece. Mm -hmm. But um, well, I, I about, mean, I worked at restaurants and we had cheaper plates and we had better servings. Yeah. Okay, so here I go with the asada, right? Yeah. That's all. I already can tell it's hella dry. Okay, it's dry because you can see how little it is. Not in that taste it. I like how you still. Because I wanna, your I wanna. You're still licking your fingers. No, though. because I have to. All right, yeah. but tell me, tell yeah. me what you think about the salad though, because I want to say something. I got no taste. Yeah. <laughs> This one that doesn't have no taste. No seasoning. No seasoning. Well, it's I guess. It's a little dry too. I guess that's that. Um, yeah, no. I know. I understand that we're all these one views and we're starting to go in and they haven't posted ever since a year. Maybe all the customers don't want to be rude and want to update their whatever, but it's been a year since they've uh, last review. So. I mean, I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> Because mama taught me not to, not to waste my, uh, what is it? Food. All right, guys. So um, I hope you guys got the instructions and everything that you needed for the giveaway. Um, thank you so much for surpassing. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to surpass the 500 subscribers. And we're almost to 1,000. So I think right now, currently, we're somewhere, somewhere around 700 and something. So thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. So just go ahead and... Um, Follow what I said in the description earlier. I'm also gonna post the link in the comments as well, so you guys don't have to keep on going to like uh, my actual channel and trying to look for out. Just post it directly on the comments, and then you guys click and you guys enter there. So it's that $100 giveaway that I promise. And thank you guys so much. If you guys like uh, this video of us reviewing the one-star restaurant, let us know if you guys want uh, some more like this, and we'll do it for you guys. Anything you wanna say? Close it out. No. All right. Thank you guys.